Alpha 1, 4, Alpha 2, Alpha 2, Alpha 2, over. Alpha 2, you would plan 3 to 4, 3 to 4, report mine over. One round, gunfire, over. Alpha 2, Alpha 2, for Alpha 1. All future wars will be decided by the supremacy of information. The core of signals is spearheading a paradigm shift from platform-centric warfare to network-centric warfare. The core of signals are the information warriors of the Indian Army, men and women who allow each one of the 1.1 million soldiers in the world's largest volunteer army to communicate and coordinate with each other at any place across the length and breadth of the country and at all times, in all terrains, without fail. Signalers can be likened to the human nervous system. Communication, they say, are like nerves of steel, without which neither the tail can wag nor can the mount bite. Today's warfare is not just a conventional war where two sides will fight using arms and ammunition. It is also cyber warfare, information warfare, information security and cyber security. Signalers in the army collect, categorize and share inputs from a variety of sources with the commanders. Battle commander needs to be updated at all times and that is possible only when he has effective communication so that he is in communication with his subordinate commanders. He can make his plans and he can amend his plans. As and when the battle commander feels the need for setting up a communication center for launching operations, the communication center in charge does a quick recce of the area. The positioning of the signal's convoy is finalized and marked with red flags. Subsequently, the convoy moves into the designated area. It immediately sets up the communications base, keeping all the technical and tactical considerations in mind. This communication center is tested and then immediately operationalized as per the battle commander's plan. Signalers belonging to Indian Army's Corps of Signals have always lived up to their motto of Tivrit Chokas, meaning swift and secure during all the wars and peacetime actions, including counterinsurgency operations. For the next six days, uh, we'll be testing you, your knowledge. The Corps of Signals is known for using the latest in communication technology, be it the systems, software, or equipment. A signaler is a soldier with impeccable mastery of high-end electronic systems and internet protocol-based networking equipment. Rapid advances in technology have made the signaler's task that much more challenging. We have various courses in Category A establishments like MCT, which cater to upgrading officers, JCOs and other ranks. Recruits hailing from engineering and technical backgrounds receive extensive training as signalers at various army and civil institutions in India, including the renowned Indian Institutes of Technology. Good signal officer should have a technical bent of mind so that he can best utilize his equipment which is being issued to him optimally. With their high fitness and endurance levels, coupled with excellent weapon handling skills, signalers, like the engineers, are proficient combatants. They carry weapons and participate in armed combats. Working in teams, they man exchanges, erect communication links, encrypt and deliver messages, lay telephone and data lines to forward posts in all kind of terrains. Various terrains have got various features. Now we exactly know which kind of radio sets, which kind of equipment or which kind of uh, backbone connectivity is going to function at the various terrains. A combat signaler's job profile is quite different from that of telecom engineers working in the civil domain. Because you have to establish the same scale of communication right from scratch. You have nothing starting from the power source to the ground earthing to providing the same scale of circuit there and moving them on and off on an average of four to six hours every time is not a small thing by any means. A combat signal is a self-contained unit always ready with arms and ammunition. They can handle any attacks made by the enemy. During wartime field operations, signalers deploy mobile switching vehicles which work like a telephone exchange on the move. 
These mobile nodes provide wireless connectivity to troops on the move within a radius of 30 kilometers. These troops on the move are also known as gypsy subscribers. Indian signalers always use a mix of technologies. They seldom rely on a single technology. Each arm of the army, be it the infantry, artillery, mechanized forces, engineers, medical, ordnance or aviation has a signals detachment attached with it. No troop movement or operation even takes place without a signals component. The success of special para operations depend largely on the inputs received from para pathfinders or para signals. A para signal is an elite subset of core of signals. They specialize in providing communications for airborne and heliborne operations. The pathfinders carry radio sets and other communication equipment to conduct clandestine recce which include identifying safe drop zones for commanders and secure landing areas for helicopters, usually in the enemy territory. Depending on the operational needs, signals equipment and signalers get para-dropped right into the war zone. There is more to the core of signals than warfare. They also excel in sports and adventure activities. The daredevils have won many a heart on various occasions with their motorcycle riding skills. This display team belonging to the core of signals has already five world records since 1991. Over the years, both the signalers and the combat engineers have evolved into highly professional units capable of delivering the knockout punch to India's enemies.